All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Angel Next Door Spills Me Rotten, episode two. Uh, in the last episode, or the first episode, we uh, saw we were introduced to Sheena and Fujimia. Is that his name? I think it was Fujimia. Yeah. Um, obviously, she is for whatever reason she was just chilling in the park on her own in the rain. Fujimia helps her out, and now she's decided to make it her life goal to be. For him to be her little project, I guess. She loves doing these things to show off her cooking skills and really just being a good home person, which is nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess she's getting some kind of satisfaction from doing this. Obviously, he's getting his life sorted out by her being there. Very interesting little duo. It's going to be nice to see how they develop and get closer together. It would be cool. But yeah, overall, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. Let's go into this episode right now. Why is she in the park again? Why is she just chill here? Why is she embarrassed about? Oh, she hurt herself. She do be doing good deeds, apparently. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This opening's groovy. Oh, it just completely changed. <laughs> It completely just changed the style of the song, but okay. So from the premise, uh, it seems to be that he's just going to keep doing small, minor things for her. And she's like, let me repay you for by giving you a week's worth of cooking and cleaning your apartment. Nice, groovy, happy opening. I like it. So like, how long is it going to be one of those anime where we're going to wait a really long time for one of them to actually to confess to each other? Or maybe they get in a relationship real soon, which would be very nice. I love those types of anime. Yeah, he just went to like the pharmacy, got hella stuff. Oh, she sprained her ankle. Okay, it's a little bit more serious. Yeah, she's gotta like he's gotta look awake. She's taking socks off. These kids. Don't call me a perv or something. You're already grabbing her feet, bro. He's like, oh, that's good. You're not a cliche anime girl. What are they, pants? Are they like track pants or something? Wait, you're carrying her? Yeah? <laughs> well, you do live next to each other. He's very thoughtful. You trying to make this girl fall for you, bro? Is this how you do it? Now she has an excuse like, oh, I washed your hoodie, so I came over. By the way, here's some food. Oh, and your pants too. <laughs> For some reason, I don't have pants today. Yeah. Typical anime prince. Okay. Bro looks like every other character in this anime. How is he a prince? This dude looks like the prince on the left. What the fuck? Yeah, main heroine, blonde ass. Okay. Wait, did you say that's, that's dinner and your coat? Where's, where's my pants? Oh, you have a nice smile, yeah. Obviously, she doesn't like being hounded by her by every fucking guy, but, you know. Yeah. Valid point. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, if you know what you got, flaunt it. Yeah, that's a cute little meal. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah. You did just say that out loud, bro. Nice, bro, you just got yourself a chef. <laughs> and all you have to do is pay for the ingredients. <laughs> Wow, like he would. You, you don't think you're his type. Why? Maybe he's just low-key and not weird? I meant to notify her day before. So she just comes over every day now. That's kind of cute. Obviously, you know, splitting the labor, splitting the cost, and they don't have to eat alone. I'm fine with anything edible. He's not fussy. <laughs> they are funny. I like anime characters or anime couples, quote unquote. 
that uh, they cut the bullshit, just say exactly what they're thinking. I want one of those little rectangle egg pans. They look awesome. I want, I want, I want one. Oh my. I like how she took, like, she watched him first eat the food. Just to see if he liked it. She's, like, fully watching him chow down on this. My guy has some serious accidental res, I ain't gonna lie. He's saying all the right things. I mean, she's cooking for herself as well. <laughs> Stop looking at gift horse in the mouse, bro. Just take it. He does have a girl on his mind. Yeah, she's just waiting for him to pet him? Okay. Yeah, please get a room, what the fuck? Over-aggressive physical contact. Yeah, I don't know if Sheena would like that. One year in advance? What? This girl's built different. The fuck? What is your life like, lady? Why do you have to work so hard? What did he see on it? Was there something on there that he noticed, or...? Oh, her birthday's in four days. Damn. That is a necessity. Get her some nice, like, kitchenware or something. Oh, yeah. Knife sharpener. Nice. They're awesome. I'm not just an ordinary high school girl. I'm built different. It's not for a girlfriend. It's for a girlfriend. There's a difference. Bro, get her the whetstone. That's what she wants. <laughs> Any you think they'll make her happy? She's definitely not the type of girl. She probably won't think of something that Hina will want. I wonder where he's actually going to get her. Like, she gave you a perfectly good present, which she'd love. I love shit like that. I love, like, stuff that I can use at home and stuff. Doshiokana! <laughs> you teasing. Yeah, she's bribing him. Nice. <laughs> He's blushing. That's adorable. I wonder what he got her. Well, now you have someone that does. So, take the gift. That big ass bag for this tiny gift? What is it? Okay, hand cream. Did you get a whetstone too? Oh, no. Teddy bear. Oh, she likes cute stuff? Oh, that's cute. I love them. I ship them. Get married. Icing on the cake if you got her the whetstone too, bro. He just, she just said she doesn't tell anybody about her birthday. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're friends. Yeah, buddy. Love it. Don't pat her head. No, don't. Don't, bro. You ain't like that. You ain't at that level yet. It'd be weird. He gets it, though. He's like, she's so cute. I just want to pair her on the head. Well, good presents. Good job, Fujimiya. Right, so that was The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten, episode two. Um, I'm really liking this so far. Like, really, really liking it. Uh, it's very subtle, and it's just little things that they do for each other. And they're, they're both definitely f finding qualities in each other that they really like. Uh, and especially in this episode, Fujimiya was more into it. Obviously, she was just very cute when she received, obviously, her gifts. And he saw that. And he had a weakness moment where he was like, oh, I want to pet her on the head. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like these two. I'm glad that, obviously, his friends could help him out get some good gifts as well. Um, I still think she would have really liked the whetstone. Personally, I would have loved the whetstone too, but that's just me. 
Um, but he got her cute gifts, uh, hand green, which is practical, and the bear, which she adores, apparently. So, yeah, she likes cute shit, too. That's great. Overall, very uh, very much looking forward to the rest of the anime now. I want to also find out more about why, like, the little hints that's into, like, her past and, you know, what's her life like. I really, really want to know what's happening there. Probably some problem with parents or something like that. I don't know. Or everybody always having so much faith that she'd be perfect, I guess. Because, like, she said she studies a year in advance, which is crazy. Um, but, yeah, overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.